New York City's fast food has gotten healthier, thanks to the ban on trans fats the city imposed in 2006. Those were the findings of a study published in Annals of Internal Medicine, the first ever study to analyze fat content of fast food purchases before and after the ban. Our study looked at the reduction in trans fat content of lunchtime purchases at fast food restaurants in New York City. And while we saw a substantial reduction in the trans fat content of the average lunchtime purchase, we didn't see um, an increase in saturated fat of the same amount. So overall, bad fat went down. The study examined lunches purchased at 11 major restaurant chains before and after the restrictions were imposed and found an average drop of 2.4 grams of trans fat. The study looked at the majority of fast food chains in New York City, including hamburger, sandwich shops, fried chicken, pizza, and Mexican food. We saw the largest uh, decrease in trans fat content per purchase in hamburger chains, followed by fried chicken chains and Mexican food chains. New York City was the first to ban fast food restaurants from using trans fats, which are associated with an increased risk for cardiovascular disease, the leading cause of death in the United States. An increase of just 40 calories per day translates into an increased coronary heart disease risk of up to 23 percent. And given that we know that about a third of calories come from food consumed outside the home, these results demonstrate a remarkable opportunity for cardiovascular disease risk reduction due to local policy. This is the first study that has reviewed results of a local community's efforts to improve health conditions through regulation of food. We're really pleased to have this article published in the Journal of Annals of Internal Medicine because it provides evidence for policymakers that a restriction of trans fat can have an impact on their local community. Since New York's adoption of the trans fat ban, restrictions have been adopted by at least 15 additional state and local jurisdictions. For more information, go to annals.org.